Welcome into the YouTube channel. I remain uh, your humble host, and this is a Nigerian tech bro. I'm just another IT guy. So in our last video, we were able to um, set up an AWS um, EC2 instance with AWS CLI to be able to manage uh, the EKS cluster using kubectl, and then we created the EKS cluster. So now that we've created the EKS cluster, I want you to pay attention to everything I'm about to do so you don't spend more time than required on this project. Um, now we'll go to the, before we go to the EKS cluster, I want you to come here. Before we go to this um, EC2 instance, go to your cluster, click on add-ons. Then get more add-ons. I want you to select this. Remember when we were creating our group policy, our rules with permissions, we added a CBS CSI driver because I told you that by default, AWS does not uh, allow the integration of the EBS storage to the Kubernetes storage. So with this, with that policy and this add-on, we'll solve that. So you click next. I want you to select this. But let's let now when it's done loading, I want you to select inherit from node exactly. Inherit from node. Then optional configuration. You can drop it, but though we don't need it. You can drop it down just to have a look, but we don't need it. Then click override. If conflict exists, override conflicting field with values from EKS API. Click next, then it's ready to install here. Then click create. Now, once you've done that, uh, once you've done that, the next thing is to go to the EC2 instance we created earlier on and run the following. I will explain each command we are running. So, this command. AWS EKS hyphen hyphen region. Then you put your own region. Mine is US East one. Then you put describe cluster hyphen hyphen name. Then this is my cluster name cluster hyphen zero zero. So put your own cluster name there. Then hyphen hyphen query cluster dot status. The things two things you will change here is the name of your cluster and your region name. What this does is to check if this AWS instance can communicate with the cluster and also check the cluster status. It's saying that when calling this describe cluster operation, the security token included in the request is invalid. Okay, so if you also experience this, normally you're supposed to get a good result, but if you also experience this, this is what you do to then solve it. This is this is a a new one, uh, but what you can do is come here. So what you can do is you when you click the I am click I am, then I am takes you here. You click on MFA if you've not added your MFA. You click on add MFA. Um, then it brings you here then you scroll down to the point where you see access keys then when you see this access key you create an access key select command line then select i understand next then select the name of the access key you want to give it uh you can just say YouTube access key YouTube access key then create access key so with this now you go back to our institute instance and do the AWS configure again and will be asked for the AWS access key this time then 
then you paste in the new access key then a new secret was generated you copy that same new secret you paste in that secret then we are using the same region and the same format is json but you can just type it just to be certain and then we will run that command again the query the cluster status now it's giving you active now that you've been able to confirm that the um, cluster status is active the next thing you would want to do is to cd into the aws directory Just to confirm that everything you set up is how it's supposed to be the region and the output now once you've done that the next command you want to run is aws eks hyphen hyphen region you put your own region update queue config hyphen hyphen name then you put your cluster name and then you run the command now once that is done it has been set up copy this what i want you to do is copy this c copy this part then you execute start just to look at the config and you can work, check everything here line for line to to ensure that these are your expected um, output so if everything is in order we are good then you it's time to then install the uh, kubectl mm, before we do that i will need to leave this directory ec2 you can make a directory if you want to i would just like to do that so i can easily have a clean workspace so now we we'll run the command again now once you do that you do uh, the kubectl command we are giving the kubectl um, executable permissions They run this command, we're going to create that directory and copy whatever we have in the kubectl to that directory and then export it to it. So, once you do that, you can easily check your kubectl version just to be certain that we've read order. So, this is the version we have here. Okay. okay so once you are done with this the next thing we will need to do is to create our worker nodes that would enable us do deployment because now if you do kubectl get nodes you won't see anything yeah so in our next video we will look at uh, creating our worker nodes and after we created our worker nodes we will then do a simple nginx deployment to test before we move into the deployment of um, Wazo. So, um, this is the Nigerian Tech Bro YouTube channel. Um, I remain your humble host. Remember to like the, like the video by clicking the like button. Leave a comment to so say whatever you want. That is the opportunity to air your opinion and uh, criticize accordingly. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell notification icon. <laughs> I remain Nigerian Tech Bro. I'm just another IT guy.